There we go. That sounds familiar. Sounds like the right thing. Sounds like the right sound. Maybe there's a show here. Maybe we're doing a show. I don't know. You're sitting there. I'm sitting here. Otis is sitting there. Got like a little bed going on. Mm -hmm. I still got the cable over here from our friend uh, Gerald Undone. Look at that. In purple. Oh, yeah. Shout it's out. a nice little... You want to show it to this guy? Oh, yeah. Here? It's a nice little reminder. If you guys uh, are into the video making, if you're into the YouTubing, you need yourself a high-quality HDMI cable to go from your monitor to your camera. And uh, Mr. Undone's going to take care of you. I'll tell you that with the Condor Blue collab. I, I said I was going to shout it out when he gave it to me, and then I don't know if I did, but I did right now. So how about that? Yeah, we're good. You know what, Will? Before we get into today's show, I need to ask you a question. It's a serious question. I put this question on my Twitter, and I'm really I'm curious, and I'm growing concerned. Mm. And so I need to ask you now. Mm. When you get into your car... Do you take out your phone or does it stay in your pocket? I take it out. You I take have to it take out. it out. You have to take it out. Because it's there's a high risk of falling it in between the uh, compartment yeah. and the chair, yeah. the seat. I know. And you don't want that. You take it out every time? Every time. Let me ask you, what if you happen to have a zipper pocket? Then what? Hmm. That, I can leave it in. Easy, Will. You might be getting carried away over there. What, what about you? This is, I'm going to post, uh, pose the question to the audience. Now, I know I put it on my Twitter. I won't put it here. I want to see in the comments if anybody has a take on that. When you get into your car, do you immediately take your phone out your pocket? Look at some of these people that replied. Look at this guy <laughs> set up. Oh, oh baby. He just has decks. What Samsung a setup. Decks. Holy cow. Yeah, you guys let me know in the comments. Stays in the pocket, comes out the pocket, pros, cons. I want to know it all. What do you got for me in the top story here, Will? Top of the food chain. Samsung shows off double folding Galaxy Fold prototype. And it's a long boy. This is from Android Authority. See, this should have been the Z Fold. Don't you think? Maybe they're just... Because it's Z? Yeah, maybe they're preparing us for it, Will. Okay, yeah. They're just saying, hey, we're going to put the Z in there right now. So you start thinking Z, uh, and we're going to show you Z eventually. I think that should have been the V fold. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you say? I don't know, just man. Just because of the shape? V, Galaxy V fold. Well, no, because the thing is, uh, even the other one is the Z flip. Why is it a Z flip? Well... Well, that one should have been... Uh... Let me tell you something about Z, the letter Z. Y'all know what comes after Z? What? Nothing! Z is the last letter. Why'd they start with that then? Because it's the best galaxy. There's no other galaxy. You went through A, B, and C, and now you're at the Z galaxy. Oh. Hmm. You, know, you know how hard it is to be Samsung, Will? <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> You're not Samsung. No, I am not. That'd be a cool name, though. The Samsung, like yeah, I think that should it's be. It's not even a brand; it's just the name. That's your rap it's name. An entity. That's your rapper name. Right. Willie Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Samsung branded. Yeah. And sponsored and everything, but double fold. You know what's better than fold? Double fold. Uh huh. You know what's better than double triple? Yeah. Z fold. Yeah, okay, why not? I don't know. I don't know anymore. What is this, origami? I don't know. Mm. How many times are you going to fold it? There's a new Samsung foldable prototype on display at IMID 2021. The device folds over twice, unlike foldables we've seen already that just fold once. How dare they? It would likely be years before we see it as a real sellable product. Sure, so was the last one. Mm -hmm. I like the technology. I mean, the fact that you can do it. Now, they're calling it an S. That's what they're saying. Display can be folded S. like an S. So that's how they stay away from the Z. Right. But they already used S, Gal know, Galaxy yeah. S. Yeah. What? Why? Well, I don't know. We're all screwed up over here. Okay, play, play a little clip. 35 seconds. I am ID some sort of a convention that's going on by the looks of it. 7.2 inch display flex in and out. I like the technology. I like the technology. 
Yeah. I like the technology. Uh, it's double the risk though, right? So much screen. With the hinge. So much screen. Where do I put all this screen? Uh, pockets. I got pocket problems. Already, I'll just tell you this one I got. Let me tell you something about that one I got. Okay. Because I already explained to you I'm doing the activities. Yes. I already explained to you I'm moving around. Uh-huh. The pant that I like to wear, I got 47 pairs of this pant. Yeah. You think I'm joking. I got 47 pairs of this pant. It has a zippered section. Mm. Ah, good. In the past, you had a smaller phone, didn't you? Uh You take the smaller phone, you put it in the zippered section, you zip that section up, you don't worry about it. You move around, you jog around, you jump around, you might do some jumping jacks. Mm -hmm. Stays right in there. I got the Z fold going on. It's a brick, I'll tell you. Is it a cool brick? Is it a folding brick? Sure. Yes, all of the above. Do I enjoy it? Do I use it to my heart's content? Yeah, I might. But when you jam that slab in that pocket, there ain't a lot of room to move around. Hmm. You just feel that brick. You never forget that brick. So it weighs you down. You question yourself on a daily basis about that brick. You say, why do I have that brick? Mm -hmm. You question yourself because you're reminded by it. So I am a little bit split. It is the most major downside. I know they made it lighter, but for a guy like me who's moving, I can't help but think at different times, like what what, 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 what phone? You're in an S20 uh, regular size. Mm. Well, based on the uh, previous video, I'm on the Z Fold, right? <laughs> the what are we talking video? about? You should try it? Yeah. No, I mean, it's funny because you're on an iPhone and then you're on a Z Fold, yeah. but really you're using I'm on S20. the S20. Yeah, okay, so yeah. it's that's actually funny about the video. You see, people don't believe everything you see, all right? Like, content. You're having fun. Uh, playing playing a role, whatever. Crazy people were, like, acting as if you were Steve Jobs or something. They don't even know what's coming up next. Yeah, that's a fun one. Don't even know what's coming up next. Uh-huh. Me- meanwhile, whole time you've been Willie Samsung. Uh-huh. Whole uh-huh. time. Rap name. Um, you got an S20 in your pocket. It's small and it's slender and you don't think about it that much unless you get in the car and it slides out in between the seats because it's so slick. Yeah. That's why I talk to you about zippers. Uh-huh. It's been on my mind with this brick. Mm-hmm. But every so often, I pull the brick out, I flip it open, and I'm a champ for a minute. I'm like, leave me alone. Yeah, all those worries just float away. Y- yeah, they, they actually, they melt. Yeah. Like an ice cream cone. You're in the galaxy then. Z At Galaxy Z. The Z Galaxy? <laughs> I go into Z Galaxy. I enter Z Galaxy. Do I want to fold it twice? All right, sure. Make it slim enough. Make it light enough. I'll fold as many times as you want me to fold. Okay. I'll do all the folding. You got to deal, Will. All right. Today's sponsor, Manscaped, and the Performance Package 4.0. I got the Manscaped razor right over here. You see that, Will? I like to keep it nearby just in case I need a little quick grooming. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Don't do that. Yeah, I might have to do that because sometimes the situation calls for it. Our friends at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation and brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package. The orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming. Nice. Join the two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Two million? Holy cow, they sold a few razors. Mm Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, a few lawnmower 4.0s, I'll tell you what. The pubes. Uh, get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com slash Lou for 20% off plus free shipping. Also, do me a favor and check out the Performance Package 4.0. As far as the lawnmower goes, it's got the LED light. It's got the ceramic blade. It's it not going to hurt you or harm you. You use it wherever you want. Understand? It's manscaped.com slash Lou for 20% off plus free ship and get it together. Head over manscaped.com slash Lou. Future iPhone and Mac 
may power down when you look away. Just what you need. Your computer looking at you even more. Uh -huh. You fall asleep. They're peeping on you. Falls asleep too, like he's sleeping. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. Yeah, okay. A uh, newly granted patent concerned with figuring out whether or not you're interested in what the device is doing. Attention Detection Service. The Attention Detection Service may monitor various peripheral devices in the device for indications that a user is paying attention to the device, says the patent. Typically, mobile devices are designed to operate from a mobile power source such as a battery. Accordingly, the energy is a scarce resource that is desirable to conserve. I agree with these things. Mm -hmm. How often does this happen, though? And do I want it to shut down completely? It's going to have to boot up very fast if that happens. Mm -hmm. For example, energy consumption is often correlated with an increase in thermal energy that needs to be removed from the device. Inefficient energy consumption can thus cause higher thermal energy in the system, requiring more cooling to extract the thermal energy. They've tried to say thermal energy as many times as possible yeah. in that short, well, just the word energy as well. My God. They do try to make it very technical, but I think it's uh, mainly for energy consumption. Yeah, save battery. Yeah. So you fall asleep watching something. It's like the Netflix thing. Are you still there? Mm -hmm. Except without the, are you still there? Like, we know you're not there. Yeah. We're just going to shut down right now. But imagine even, you know, when you're on YouTube and you're just looking at your, you know, not looking at your screen, all of a sudden it goes to like a sleep mode. And then when you're looking at the screen, it like instantly pops back up. Can have to be instant. Otherwise, it's annoying. Exactly, yeah. Otherwise, it's very annoying. Mm hmm because I like to look away, I look back, I look away. Mm -hmm. It's going to have to be, but you do it future style. The phone blows up. It's like, <laughs> we're I'm, not ready. I'm playing games with my thing. I'm like, uh, yeah. uh, uh, wake up. No, man. In the future, everything is seamless and works so well, and it's faster and better than humans. Mm -hmm. And I glance and it pauses and I go, e and it's on. And I go, ah, and it pauses. Like it's that good and that fast. Speed is the key. Or it somehow predicts when you're going to look. Speed is the key with these features. Uh -huh. You don't uh -huh. have speed. It's lagging human pace. We're all, we all want to just kick it and just destroy it. Like, ah, frustration. S speed is the key with any of this type of thing, but it's a cool idea. And they're, you know, using all of these sensors listed here to hopefully, you know, um, I love that. Happen. I like that picture of all your sensors right there. Yeah, there's, there's a variety. You got the haptics, Just, the uh, rectangles, the... and then arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Many rectangles, good. Yeah. Rectangles into other rectangle, better. Singular. Yes. Great. Send it all to the processing system. Yeah. Lovely. Good job. iPhone 13 satellite comms sound exciting, but isn't really. Is this the one, can you break this down for us? Or is this the one where I say, hey, that sounds interesting. I don't know anything about it. Can you break it down? And then all of a sudden you just. Mm. Um, no, I read a little bit about it. You explode. Uh, you just explode. A lot of people, like the headline is really cool. Um, but I don't think it's really that exciting in terms of just usability. I think it is really helpful. Basically, they're making like a, the iPhone 13 may have a way to contact satellites um if you were what about aliens uh no not yet it was but, when you uh, just when you said contact i got i saw jody foster and everything yeah kind of like a walkie talkie or like uh from the movie contact yeah great the, movie jody foster it's like the tubes and everything and the dad and pensacola florida and all that the uh wormhole sign a movie theater when i was like when i was younger it's like it's uh it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Go ahead, Will. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my concentration. <laughs> that um, was the idea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I guess in this scenario, the reason why they're building, building a, you know, iPhone compatible way of talking to a satellite is if maybe you're in trouble, you're lost in like the wilderness or the desert or you're lost at sea you're able to contact uh, using satellite. Sounds technology. great. I, I love it. Why is that not exciting? I like it. Um, because I guess most people are not going to use this. Because most people are, aren't like in the forest or, you know. Did I ever but, explain to you that I'm out there? 
well, you're probably going to use it. That's right. You're you're the one getting lost and using it for... A satellite power. phone is a special type of mobile phone that connects to satellites rather than cell phone towers that typically connect to low Earth orbit communication satellites that circle the Earth much like GPS ones. No matter where you are in the world, there should always be at least one of these within reach at any given time. Interesting. So instead of like a satellite phone, when you're just trekking in like the mountains or something... You can actually use your iPhone. Those satellite phones, whenever you see them in military movies and stuff, they always have a huge antenna. Yeah. So, so it's actually pretty impressive. How are they going to fit it. it in the iPhone? Well, Tim Cook. Oh, right. They got, you know, right. technology. I need to stop Apple. asking these Come dumb on, questions. Man. Yeah, of course. They'll be just fine with it. I think it's, I don't know. For me, it's cool. I guess that's always a point you can make is that not many people will use it. It's fair. Yeah. It's mainly for emergencies, I guess, um, in this use case for now. The Global Star Network has a bent pipe architecture with the brains of the system located on the ground. Thus, the network can be more easily upgraded to ensure that customers always have the most technologically advanced mobile satellite services. I like it. Whatever. I'm not going to poo-poo that one. I like it. It's just an extra feature. It's kind of cool. I, I I mean, I guess the downside could be maybe it's using a lot of battery or something, but I presume maybe. it will be shut down if you don't need to use it. Mm -hmm. Cool. The Pixel 6. Google Pixel 6 could get its grand unveiling on September 13th, just before the iPhone 13. Uh, you know what? I've heard mixed things on this. Some people said, yeah, that's that could happen. Other people said, absolutely not. That won't happen. I'm not holding my breath, Will. I'll tell you that much because the Pixel, Google's hardware strategy in general, specifically the Pixel, like the 5, it was supposed to be out when. And, it, and, and the fact that they gave all those details early that they gave, to me, implied that it was further out. Oh, yeah? Well, well, well don't you remember how they kind of soft launched it? They told mm -hmm. you about the chip. They showed you the design in advance. What would be the incentive to do that if you were going to beat iPhone to market? If you're going to be there September 13th, it's not that far off. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, my feeling was, oh, they're going to be after that. But anyway, it, it, rumors are rumors, whatever. Anything can come true. It all, also depends on what a release looks like. Like, are you actually ordering it or is it a long way before it's getting delivered? I'm excited for the phone. I didn't use a Pix in a while. That's probably my next phone. Mm -hmm. Um I'm guessing there's no launch event. It's, I, you it's know what? Done. I even thought about using a Pixel 5a. It crossed my mind. Oh. That's the one that showed up over here. Yeah. It crossed my mind. I mean, you could use it. It's literally back Does there. Does something like that ever cross your mind? I was going to use it. It crossed we were your shoot mind. A video. Yeah. It crossed your mind. Not bad. Not a bad phone. See, isn't that interesting? It's like something about Pixel and mid range that. I wouldn't be considering any other mid-range device, but maybe it's a software thing where I'm missing the Pixel Android experience or I'm curious what the camera software is doing these days and it just happens to be the latest Pixel device. Isn't that weird? It feels somewhat appealing even though there's all these phones to choose from. I don't know, man. I might throw a SIM in there just for, just for a couple of, have a couple of laughs or something. A barrel of laughs. I might have a barrel of laughs if I go in there. So I don't know what to tell you on it, but Pixel 6, I'm definitely going to use. It'll see a SIM card or two. I'll tell oh. you that. Google parodies Apple and Johnny Ivan. Ridiculous Pixel. Well, speaking of Pixel 5a, that's why you lined it up like that. Yeah, I, you know, I try. You saw me go show. to 5a and then you got all organized and you got the nice keyboard with the mechanical switches and the mouse do, yeah. in the other hand and you just smoothly inserted this. Yeah, I try. All right, let's see what you got. What is it? Is it a... Wait a second. Oh, it's a video. It's a video, yeah. The circle comes full circle featuring the Google Pixel 5a with 5G. Some might say simply perfect. Oh, so they're... A complete set of points, all equidistant from a single point on one plane. Geometry. No beginning. No end. No end to the beginning. <laughs> so round. So, circular, if you will. Little known fact, the Latin word for circle is circus. Circus, isn't that delightful? 
and that delight inspired us to reimagine the circle for the new Google Pixel 5a. Precisely 3.5 millimeters in diameter, forged and machined from the finest premium grade copper and iron, housed in a unibody of die cast aluminium. Engineered for optimal haptic feedback to deliver the satisfying feeling of click. Well, I've never a wanted a headphone jack so mm -hmm. so badly in my life. A, hole. a tiny black hole with the gravitational pull of a trillion collapsed stars. Well, this guy's supposed to be Johnny Ive, but I mean, you're allowed to use Capable a of dude with a British accent, aren't you? Sure, yeah. Dimensions. Designed to welcome both 1 8 inch 3 pole TRS and 4 pole TRRS connections. <laughs> A glorious achievement that draws from our past as it propels us into the future. It's a headphone jack. Yes, it's a headphone jack. With the Google Pixel 5a with 5G, the circle has finally come full circle. I'll tell you, hey. I, you know what I want, Will? I'll tell you what I want, a headphone jack after that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's fine. You take a couple of shots. It's just weird because they, uh, their phone's not going to have it. The pre But I, for anyone who cares, for anyone who really likes having a headphone jack, then they can go watch this and really no one else is going to. So, yeah, fair play, whatever. Have a laugh. Yeah. Go for it. RJ Scaringe shows impressive video of Rivian R1T water fording in a tank. Did you see this? Absolutely not. I did not, but it looks amazing. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead. We got another video here. Oh, baby. That is pretty deep water. Right in there. Pretty deep water. It's like just below the top of the hood. Wow. How is that thing not flooding? Well, I mean, I know how. That's impressive. So the flood is no issue. I mean, this is like a real world scenario. In the that flood? Sense. Yeah, the floods. Yeah. Or like, you know, really high water traveling through rivers. <sighs> it's really impressive. You know what's crazy? Are you speechless? No, you know what's crazy about this is... That threshold. Hmm. It's like, we're fine up until this much water. We go... Yeah, a little bit of a wave will just take it down. One foot higher and yeah. we got a problem. Yeah. You know, or two feet or whatever. And in this case, a couple it's, ripples in it's the kind of the, you know, this flat concrete underneath. Like it's a test circuit or whatever. It's still, I like it. It's still impressive. But you see these guys that are really into it mm -hmm. and they got the snorkel and everything going on. Yes. You've seen these guys. Yeah, yeah. Now, those have not been EVs. Is the R1T the most capable electric truck? That's the question, because they're showing stuff off. Uh-huh. Is it going to be the most capable, regardless of its conservative looks? I mean, it could be. The R1T and R1S would be able to cross flooded areas as deep as 42.7 inches in off-road mode, which puts their air suspensions at the highest position. Unlike combustion engine cars, there's no worry with preparations because there is no risk of hydrolock. Wow. Right. So there's no engine that's seizing. There's no engine obviously. up there. No engine up there, dude. Yeah. I like your video clip, Will. Awesomely weird Alibaba EV of the week. Oh, we've seen a couple of these. Oh, man, I love that. That's the best one by far. I like how it's photoshopped too, but there's real footage. Uh, so I'll show you it. This is so it's, much uh, better than the Jeep looking one and uh, then whatever other one you showed me the next time. I, this is hilarious. That is so much fun. It looks like a carriage, like an old yeah. fashioned Model T type car. Yeah. So this was based off the Model T. Mm. Um, obviously, smaller wheels, mm -hmm. but it's all electric. <laughs> I love it, man. I want, I'm going to get one of these as well. Uh, I'm going to order one. You can literally order it off of Alibaba. Can you right click now. on the picture with people inside of it? Oh, of wow. That's so, you could have a whole business giving people old timey rides. And you got to dress the part too with the top hat. Oh, I'm the driver, like as if it was a horse and carriage almost. Yeah. 
And I have a long coat. Uh huh. A yeah. long coat. Wow. With a cane. Wow, 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 wow. So I order this up. Look how it comes. Does it actually come like that? I don't even have to assemble it? Uh, Just wrapped up like that? Well, yeah, it does uh it does come wrapped up here. It's like a golf cart with some styling. Oh, I see. Okay. In a, f a metal frame, I guess, just to protect it. And then you just plug in the wheels and then you're good to go. <laughs> wow. We should definitely have one of these for the studio. Yeah. Just moving stuff around, nice load some boxes onto it. And uh, oh, I like the white one too. I don't know. Uh, are we recommending it? It seems like a risky thing to order. I'm not going to lie. Um, because it's going to be freight and you're going to have to pick it up at a port of some kind or arrange some type of shipping for it. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not a Rivian, that's for sure. It's got 7.2 kilowatt battery. Right. And it's only f good for 100 kilometers. And what happens when it's in 42 inches of water? <laughs> Explode. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's top speed is 30 kilometers. It's not bad. It's like a little golf cart. Yeah. You, you know, it. Yeah. with some extra pizzazz. It's a little golf cart, but it had, the styling is so much more fun. Yes. Than a golf cart with the soft top and the, I, this guy's just doing circles forever. He's getting dizzy. Yeah, the guy's gonna, showing it off here. It's going to run out of battery soon. I would switch directions and go the other way. You know how you start to get dizzy, you go the other way. <laughs> the whole cart flips over. <laughs> Cool. Eight yeah. Only 8000 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. No big deal, 8000 Look at all the different models down there. 6500 for that dune buggy looking thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, have a gander. Go order it. Go ahead. The Plyber truck is a Tesla Cybertruck replica made with wooden panels. Ah, uh, it's like a, what are they? Um, beaver panel. Remember people, mm. kids used to say that? You had the, uh, was it the Jeep Wagoneer had the wood paneling? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you have a little throwback. Obviously, that's not a Cybertruck. What is this built on? Uh, I'm not too sure. I guess we can find out. Some kind of other truck. Since it's unveiling, the Plyber truck by C.J. Cromwell was created to participate in the Gambler 500 rally. Um, keep going. There's another car under the exit. An Acura MDX. Oh, oh, that's a weird. So it's using gas. That's a weird mod. Yeah, it's using gas. I, it kind of looked like an SUV to me, the shape of it. And then they've just built this uh, plywood frame around it. Yeah. It is amazing to see how easily you can create the shape of the Cybertruck. It's such simple Whoa. lines. It's so angular. Yeah. You can do it with plywood. Anybody can do it. I mean, there's there's work to it, obviously. But <laughs> this guy actually drive this thing around or what? Yeah. I mean, you have to. It's not like you can deconstruct it. and Every time you can't just yeah. put the outfit on. You're going to get a lot of looks if you drove something like that. Even though it's just an MDX, mm -hmm. people can be very curious if you're at the grocery store with that thing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> good on them. Have fun with it. It's all, It also, it looks too small. You start to realize how big the Cybertruck <laughs> has to be. Doesn't it look small? Yeah. It looks squished. Like yeah, the it's front exactly. Impact. Yeah. Ply Doesn't have the long. Plyber truck. They took it to an off-road site to play around with it. Well, an MDX can, you can take an MDX off-road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, not like that buggy in the back there. Yeah, that's cool. Right on. Viral video of astronauts making DIY pizza in outer space will amaze you. Well, that sounds like a headache. I have a hard enough time making pizza not in outer space, and and <laughs> like that's not looking great. I'm 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 concerned. That never gets old, hey? The floating stuff. It's yeah. I mean, it's so cool. The, the, like the, there's so many scenarios that you kind of wonder what would happen uh, if you're in space. Nothing falls off of it. The G, how do they how do they bake it though? Oh, one one piece of cheese almost floated away there. 
<laughs> All the ingredients are just floating around. This is so entertaining. It'd be crazy to be in space, man. Just okay. Tin foil is involved. Mm -hmm. Look, I realize you're in space and and you have limited. See, how do you bake it? They didn't show us the baking portion. N no, but I'm sure it's some sort of oven. Some sort of heating mechanism. I don't think this pizza is going to be as good as actual <laughs> pizza. But it's pizza in space. I mean, man. space pizza, we got to <laughs> obviously... Um, and they made it. We got to so. obviously uh, shift our expectations ever so slightly, but I'm Your pretty specific about my pizza. Here. Yeah, I'm pretty specific about my pizza. I don't know about this pizza right here, space pizza. I just can't help but uh, look at it. And whatever ingredients you have up there... I don't know what they have for refrigeration. Like, the, the dough, I mean, I got questions, Will. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll never be answered because it's very unlikely I'll ever have the opportunity to ingest space pizza. So, no. what can I do? Viral TSA video shows raw chicken. Is this real? I saw this <laughs> clip. I saw that. Is that real? Uh, well, why would someone do that? Because and how do people, they get away with that? Because people do things, and they get they they're like, "Look, I did that. I'm on the internet." No, but okay. no one claimed it though. Maybe they just like to watch the world burn. <laughs> it's Joker. Yeah, I saw this. You got to play the clip. I mean, it's ridiculous. You have a, a an actual <laughs> block of block chicken. of chicken, not even in a suitcase. So. But it, it's in the shape of a suitcase. So it yes. was in a suitcase at one time. But then where did the suitcase go? It's so many questions. So they think that it came from um, a cooler. Okay. Like uh, that was supposed to be shipped to like maybe a restaurant or something. And somehow the cooler broke or, you know, it the lid opened and then the chicken flew out. Just all frozen together. Yes. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the TSA. That's oh, the TSA their, posted it. That, yeah. Half a million so. views. Go to the top of their post. What is it? Is it cooped up in a cooler somewhere? Oh, here. We, let's read this. There, uh, can chickens fly? Oh, they always make a joke, though. It's always They're always joking around. There's a personal foul on the carousel. Can chickens fly? Well, assuredly, no. Poultry is flying like this. We hear at one time these wings and thighs... Were cooped up in a cooler somewhere between baggage and the carousel. They became free range. Will I can't even read this. It's painful. Well, they don't work at wing. the TSA. They gotta have fun with it. Do well, they? Uh, yeah. Don't wing your travel packing in order to keep from ruffling any feathers. Meat should be properly packaged. Ice or dry ice is permitted. Yeah, I know, but where's the cooler? Like, yeah. what did T? If you're pecking around the internet, uh, I'm dying. I, I don't I don't know what to say here. Is it real, Will? I guess so. I, I think it's real. You say it's real. TSA says it's real. Then they make a thousand jokes, and I don't know what's real anymore. Yeah. All right, guys. Good luck on the carousel. The carousel we call life. And chicken. And space pizza. <laughs>